Hello, this is Robert Thomas with Photoblogstop, and today's video tutorial will be on how to create a decorative photo frame in Photoshop using a vector mask. Let's start by opening an image in Photoshop, and I want to convert this layer to a smart object, so to do so I will right click on or near the name and select the option to convert to a smart object. Next we want to add the vector mask so I will use a shape layer tool. I'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool. And once that's selected, we need to make sure that our options are set correctly. We do want the shape layer icon selected. And then I'm going to set the radius to 30 pixels. The larger the, the radius, the more rounded the corners will be. So with my mouse, I'm going to click and drag out the rectangle on this image. And as I'm dragging, you do have the option of pressing down the spacebar and keeping it down as you drag and you can see that that allows you to reposition the rectangle on the screen. So I'm going to stop about there. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, one of the things I like to do um, for this technique is to center the layer mask on the image. And to do that on a Mac I'll hold down or I'll do a Command A on Windows it will be Control A to select all. Then I'll press the V key to get the Move tool. And once I do that, you'll see that we now have these alignment options up here at the top. So I'm going to click once to align the vertical center and once to align the horizontal center. And that should center our mask. I'll now do Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on Windows to deselect everything. Okay, uh, the next step, uh, we want this vector mask that we just created, this layer, to be down at the bottom of the stack. So I'm going to click on it and drag it to the bottom. And then we want to add a clipping mask, clipping this top layer to the layer below it. And a shortcut I like to use is to hold down the Option key on a Mac or Alt on Windows. And then when you hover over the line between the two layers, you'll see these little double circles appear. And when you see that, just click once, and that will clip the upper layer to the layer below it. And uh, now we're at the point of adding the, the decorative frame. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. One will, what I'm going to show you is to use a Photoshop pattern, and the other way I'll show you is to use an image. Let's start with a pattern. Uh, for starters, I'm going to select, select the bottommost layer, and um, I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to hold down Command on a Mac, Control on Windows, and I'm going to click on the Add a New Layer icon. And because I had Command or Control down, that placed that layer at the bottom of the layer stack. So now with our new layer, I want to open the Fill dialog box. So I'm going to uh, use a keyboard shortcut, Shift Delete on a Mac, or Shift Backspace on Windows. And in the Fill dialog box, we want to select Pattern in the Use. And then we want to select a pattern to use. And we do that by clicking on the icon next to Custom Pattern. Uh, the patterns I already have loaded probably don't match what you have on your computer. Um, if you don't like the patterns you have loaded right now, you can click on this arrow and select from several other groupings of patterns. For now, I'm just going to use this pattern and I'm going to click OK on the fill dialog box to accept my changes. All right, uh, now I can tell that I need a feather for this mask, so to add that, I'm going to click once on the layer mask. And then I'm going to, in the mask dialog box, I'm going to drag the feather slider out to about 20 pixels. And there you have it. You have a custom photo frame. Okay, um, one of the beauties of this technique is that we can replace this image uh, and reuse this frame. So what you could do is save this, this file as a, a Photoshop template. Just be sure you save it as a Photoshop PSD file. Then sometime down the road, if you want to reuse this frame, you just open up the template and replace the image, as I'm going to show you now. So to replace the image, I'm going to click on or near the name, right-click, rather, and I'm going to select the option to replace contents. And when I do that, the Place dialog box comes up, and I'm going to select a different image to use, and I'll click on Place. And there you have it. It's just that easy. So here's the same frame, but with a new image. OK, that takes care of uh, showing you how to do this with a Photoshop pattern. Now let's try it with a, an image. So I'm going to take this, um, this background pattern and throw that into the trash. And um, I already have an image selected for my background. So I'm going to open that in Photoshop. And I'm going to right-click on this layer near the name. 
and select the option to duplicate layer. And in the duplicate layer dialog box, I'm going to select the image that I want to place this image in. And this is the original image with the frame I'm selecting here. I'll click on OK. And then if we go back to our original image, you'll see that uh, sure enough, here is that new image. Um, it did, Photoshop did place it at the top of the stack and it did automatically add a clipping mask, but that's not a problem. Uh, what we need to do is have this layer down at the bottom of the stack, just like we did with the pattern. So I'm going to click and drag it to the bottom. And I can tell by looking at this that the image I selected is a little bit on the small side, so we'll need to resize it. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off visibility for all layers except for the background layer. And um, I'm going to resize this using the free transform tool. Now, if, if you think you're going to be resizing this larger and then smaller and then larger, uh, you're probably better off creating a smart object um, out of this layer. So I'm just going to do that for grins. I'm going to right click and I'll select convert to smart object. And then on a Mac I'll do command T, Windows, that's control T to open up the free transform tool. And then I'm going to hold down shift and option on a Mac or shift and alt on Windows and I'm going to drag one of the corner handles outward to enlarge this image so that it does extend beyond the canvas. And uh, as a note, when you hold down shift and option like that, it enlarges it from the center. As you, as you can see, it, it evenly went out in one direction from the center. I'm going to press uh, return on a Mac or enter on Windows to accept my changes. I'm going to turn visibility back on for all layers. And there you have it. Um, I think that for this image, we need a little bit less feather on that mask. So I'm going to click once in the mask. In the mask dialog box, I'm going to take the feather down to zero. I also think that the layer mask is a little bit large, and so I'm going to resize the mask once again by doing um, Command T on a Mac or Control T on Windows to open the free transform tool. I'm going to hold down Shift and Option as I drag one of these corners inward to make this mask a little bit smaller. And that looks fine, so I'm going to hit Return on a Mac enter on Windows, accept my changes, and there you have it. That takes care of today's Photoshop tutorial on creating a decorative photo frame in Photoshop. Thank you very much for watching, and please do visit photoblogstop.com where you can find a collection of Photoshop and photography tutorials. Thank you again.